Hi, in this video I'll take you through a solved problem on power. As uh, shown on the screen, we have uh, a mass of 10 kg which is starting out from rest. It's uh, pulled up an inclined plane at 2 meters per second square. The plane itself is at 30 degrees to the horizontal. We are supposed to find out the power consumed in the fifth second and also the average power consumed during the five seconds of motion. First, let's write down everything that's given. Mass is given, 10 kg, so weight becomes 10 into 9.8 equal to 98 newtons. Theta and A are given. Friction is assumed to be zero because it's not given. The time is given and uh, the initial velocity U equal to zero because it's starting out from rest. Let's draw a sketch first, which will make it clear as to what's happening here. The weight mg is acting down, 98 newtons. So the component of the weight is acting backwards, which is mg sine theta. And the pulling force T is exactly in the same direction, but opposite, uh, shown by the brown arrow. So we have to find the net force here. The net force is upwards because the block is accelerating upwards. So T minus mg sine theta is equal to the mass into acceleration upwards. When you do that, as shown on the screen, you get T is equal to 69 newtons. But we have to find power. To do that, we have to find work done, because time is known. To find work done, we have to find force and displacement. Force we just found, so we have to look for displacement. Now, we can use some of the equations of motion here. The most convenient right now is S equal to UT plus half AT square, because we know A and T, and U is also zero. So with that, we get the S, or the distance, as 25 meters during those five seconds. To find the work done, we multiply force into displacement, so that 69 into 25 is 1725 joules. Then the average power becomes easy. Divide 1725 divided by uh, the time duration of 5 seconds, so we get 345 watts. The next step is to find the power in the fifth second. The first job is to find the velocity in the fifth second u is v equal to u plus at because we know everything in this equation u goes away and a into t is uh, 10 so final velocity in the fifth second is 10 meters per second then the force into velocity becomes 69 into 10 equal to 690 watts just to remind ourselves uh, we are using the equation here that power is equal to work done by time work itself is force into displacement so if we club displacement by time, it becomes velocity. Hence, power is equal to force into velocity. I hope this was useful to you. Thanks and have a great day.